Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your February 2021 mid-month tarot reading. This is for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days. You could check a different part of your chart. You could even watch an older reading if the title speaks to you. Tarot is sacred divination, so the readings are timeless. I've had some inquiries lately about personal readings, and I don't offer personal readings right now. I just don't have the time. But if that would ever change, I'll make an announcement on the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to invite you to join us and subscribe. Whoops, card flew out. Then you'll know if I make any announcements too. And thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. I do appreciate you very much, every single one of you. All right, let's begin and get the messages for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know, please? All right, here we go. So we'll do our tarot reading, then we'll use the Angel Answers Oracle cards as well. So you begin here. You have the Seven of Swords in your current position with the Seven of Cups. That's interesting. Now, your destiny here is the Eight of Wands. You've got the Knight of Wands in the distant past, the Sun in the more recent past. The Eight of Pentacles is the energy coming towards you. You're represented here by the Six of Cups. The person or situation you're dealing with is the Ten of Cups. You've got the Moon in your hopes and fears and justice in the outcome. Well, and we're going to take two out of the bottom and then this one that came out. I got to tell you something. I, as soon as I saw that nine of cups, I thought whoever the seven of swords is, they're going to get theirs. Like, I, I don't think you need to do anything, but I think you're going to kind of enjoy it a little bit when it comes around. So you've got here, um, I do, I feel like whoever that is, is going to be held accountable. And it's almost like I look at that nine of cups and the way he's so proud and it kind of makes me think of you kind of smugly watching it happen, watching they all fall down, right? Um, so your guidance here, the, the King of Swords came out on his own. And I feel like it's communication coming in, especially with Justice being here too. Let me just show these together. It definitely is. I mean, if it's anything involving a lawsuit, for sure, it's going in your favor. All you have to do is keep on keeping on. Keep doing you... Don't worry about, you know, anything that anyone else has to say. Um, but there's definitely an outcome here that's positive, and I feel like it's fair. It really is like justice being served. That may be for one person on here, but I do want to address that. Either way, though, there's clarity here. There's communication here. And it's really knowing what to do next, because there's a little bit of uncertainty um, with the moon showing up here. So you have here, though, before we get into this too far, you have Pisces, Leo, Libra. You have here Earth, um, Air, Water, and Fire. You've got all the elements. So for some of you, you're going to have a new beginning, and it may, be an, it may be work or love related. You definitely have love and very nice aspects for your family, for a relationship. Um, but you also have some nice aspects for money, too. I, again, I do feel like there's something with somebody who's an, an issue. There's an issue here with somebody who's been deceptive. Um, but don't don't let them, you know, eat your lunch because you're going to be just fine. They're going to have to pay the, you know, piper or whatever you want to say on that. They're going to have to answer to a higher source. But with this Six of Cups here, too, this is a nostalgic energy. It's a It's a sentimental longing too so for some of you that there's reconciliation or it's even just the reunion of your family with the ten of cups it's definitely here it feels like better days are ahead for you in terms of family and love and that emotional kind of energy but the six of cups too is you know it's kind of lighthearted. it can be even childlike so i feel like you've got nice aspects in terms of just raising and lifting your vibration so there's somebody here with the Seven of Swords energy that doesn't think things through very clearly. And, you know, the Eight of, excuse me, the Seven of Cups is 
Also a card of taking off your rose colored glasses, seeing things for what they are. So if there's somebody that you feel is not trustworthy and you've been feeling it, but kind of denying it, like, no, no, that can't be right. No, it's right. Your feelings are, are your guidance system and they're leading you. And so the seven of swords is somebody who is definitely dishonest, very insecure. They're um, petty. They, I feel like, too, they bring up things to try to embarrass other people. So it could be, I hate to say, it could be somebody in your family, too. I hate to say that. But, you know, don't we all have that cousin or relative that likes to do things like that? I think everyone can relate to that. Um, but the Seven of Cups, it offers you options. So you can look at, you know, other areas of your life, move away from that energy. You don't have to stay tied to that because this person's not reliable. It's definitely somebody who plays fast and loose with the truth. They don't follow through on stuff. And again, they're going to be held accountable here in the end. So the Eight of Wands is in your destiny. And it's definitely a card of moving forward in life. It's a card of communication coming in, but taking action too. It's like you being a go-getter. If that's your personality, then that's for you. Um, it's also the arrows of love in the tarot. So you may find you know, some people that are really sensitive to energy, they will talk about how they fall in love every day. They connect with people on such a deep level. It feels like every day they're falling in love with a new person. So for some of you in that energetic level, you have that capacity to really connect in a way that's very special. And so again, the arrows of love here show up because it's more about your overall energy than necessarily a specific relationship here. But in the distant past, again, you've got something with this unreliable energy. The Knight of Wands is this way too. So if it's work and it's like you were teamed up with somebody or there's somebody in your department that was supposed to be reliable and they just weren't, I do feel like it was a point of frustration. Um, but again, you've got nice aspects to recover from this. But it's somebody too who can be kind of bossy and outspoken and late a lot and unapologetic for it um, and a little arrogant quite frankly and I, I get that also too with the cards around this so because taken by itself knights have good intentions but there's too many other cards connected to this to rule all that out I definitely feel like it's something that's connected to the seven of swords so the sun shows up and liberates you from this it's like a whole new lease on life and it may have been building for a while and then seemed like it almost turned on a dime where things got a whole lot better. It is unconditional regard. It's not allowing somebody else to keep the keys to your happiness in their pocket. You control your own destiny. You control your own manifestations and your own free will. So it really is about you releasing all the resistance and having self-mastery here and mastery over your own energy especially those of you that really understand and relate to having feelings in terms of feeling other energy impact you. This is really about that turning point where you learn how to turn some of that on and off and filter it so that you don't feel like you're falling prey to all these energies around you. So for some, again, you may have gotten some news about your family or about somebody that you're, you've got a love interest here um, information and coming together in the more recent past, feeling like there's love around you and that warmth of a relationship that feels really good. There's definitely wish fulfillment. I mean, when I look at this together, you know, there's, you've got the nine, the 10 and in order too, which I love, plus the sun. I mean, it's definitely about you manifesting your heart's desires and feeling free from any restrictions that were in limitations that may have been imposed or created by whoever that was over there. It's, you know, in the, in the near future, you've got this eight of pentacles. So you're definitely investing in things. Again, it may be in your own self-development and just getting more focused on things that you want to do. I see somebody making a list. It's like, it seems like a list of things you want to do in the future, being very intentional and deliberate on your manifestations and bringing things forward to your life. I also feel like you're working hard here. So if it was a, a job situation where there was somebody dishonest there, you don't really let it stop you. You just kind of put your best foot forward here and you keep going anyway. And boy, do people around you notice it. 
that you don't get caught off in the weeds with somebody who's not worth the time really anyway. I don't mean that to sound too harsh, but you know, if it's somebody who really is truly just almost constitutionally incapable of being honest, you're, you're off doing other things. You're not going to stay in that low vibrational place with them. So I also feel like too, for somebody you're making some arrangements, it feels like with your family. Um, I do get, like I said, in a, you know, like a dating relationship here, a love relationship, but also a bigger picture with your entire family. That's really nice. So the nine of cups is wish fulfillment. It's satisfaction. It's feeling proud of the life that you live. It's feeling proud of your own integrity, honesty, and ability to kind of navigate whether it's situations or people and not get caught up in that because you're busy being happy in the meantime anyway. It also can be a gift given to you. So with all the effort that you put forward, you may find that people go out of their way to try to help you out. You know, if it's you go to a car dealership and they they you know, make sure you have a car whenever you need a repair. I mean, it's all that little stuff where people kind of reciprocate towards you and are generous. You're generous, but so are they. So I mentioned before, I love to see the nine and 10 right next to each other. 78 cards, that's not easy to do. And you have your, this 10 of cups. Now this is subjective and I know I keep focusing on family and love, but it can be material possessions too. So this also could be celebrating if work has changed, and like I said, you had somebody at work that was just needling everybody and making everyone uncomfortable, this can also be the celebration of their exit and feeling like we're free to, you know, be committed and do our work without whatever this energy is. Um, but it's also, too, uh, it's a card of celebrating your, you know, being past those dark points, being past, especially if there was a lot of effort being put forward and opening up to the, you know, the new days ahead, the this w wonderful rainbow after the storm. So it's kind of like when you make it through something and you go, God, thank God we're here. So in a relationship too, if you've had some trials there, you, you get to that sweet spot where it feels like now we can really have fun. We can relax a little bit. We can enjoy being with each other without conflicts and things around us. And it just feels really good. So the moon shows up in your hopes and fears. And it this is a card too of intuition, all right? And knowing and trusting your own intuition. But it's also it can be a card of, in terms of clarity, it can be a confusing and emotional time for you. And so the guidance with this really is about meditating, quieting your mind, and reaching down into this pool of consciousness, your higher source energy, connecting with that higher source within you. So you've got justice in the outcome. And it's the absolute truth. You're going to get the truth. The truth comes forward. I love to see this in any reading with the Seven of Swords. Relax and just allow it to unfold. Let whirling dervishes whirl because they will be held accountable with this. And you don't even have to do anything. All you do is keep your, your side of the street clean and the rest of this will get handled because you're doing the right things. Um, I mentioned earlier, too, it can be a card if it's something legal that you're dealing with a matter, legal matter. I do see the cards around you supporting that it ends up going in your favor. So um, allow that to happen because really with this, too, it can be about, um, you know, the universe liking balance. The universe brings in balance. So if it feels like, why, why am I in this situation? I don't do this kind of stuff to people. And if everything's my match, how in the world am I getting them? Um, the universe brings in the balance so that that makes sense again. Somehow you got connected with them because nobody really takes advantage of us, but they match our vibration. So maybe it's not the exact same stuff, like you're not lying and, and you know, double crossing people, but maybe you got into a low vibrational place and they showed up and it's, they're not meant to stay though. I can tell you that. So we have here. Communicate clearly. I mentioned the universe always hears you and responds to you. So especially your feelings, your feelings are the key. And so you want the universe to be clear because it will deliver to you what you're feeling. So even if you're saying one thing, but your heart says another, the universe hears your heart. So get more information. So for some of you, um, there may be information in terms of bringing this clarity if there's any confusion. And there's definitely communication here that will give you Whatever you need to know. 
you've got recovery here. So if it's, especially if it's recovering like emotionally from somebody who's been deceptive or tried to double cross you, you're in, in even spiritually, you're on the mend. They say within the next few months. So you've got momentum coming on here, Scorpio. And you've got a yes. It's an emphatic yes. I don't feel like I've had this in this entire group of readings. So it really is about you creating your own reality and knowing that you get what you think about. You become what you think about. So you are the master of your own masterpiece. So good things are coming for you. I love you, Scorpio, and I'll be back again soon.